hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to create this web banner in photoshop if you're ready if you don't mind let's get started so the first thing you do as usual you click on file and um, i'm just going to give it a name here um so you can put the name there but the size i'm going to use this size but you can use a 1920 by 1080 but this is the size that i used for it you can put the name here so i'm just going to go ahead and input the name um, banner and um, you can use the same setting that i used to resolution says at 300 and pixels please and click on create great and then again um the resource file for this video is in the link in the description of the video so do well to get all of this with the link in the video right great so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on adjustment layer i'm going to click on solid color right so i'm going to use uh, i'm going to set my foreground color to that color this is the value that i used and i'm going to change my background color i'm going to use this dark shade of the same color you can copy my color um value too um so this is the value that i used let me just bring this um good yeah so you can use my value that i used so these two shades of color is what i'll be working on through the entire part of this video right so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to go in and bring in my first image i'm going to use um, this should be on the second layer in your composition so i'm just going to bring this happy smiley faces beautiful people everywhere and i'm just going to go over to here and saturation and i'm going to clip this so it affects only this layer itself right right so i'm just going to reduce the saturation click on the picture and group the two of them right just click on group icon here and group them like this right and you can also rename it right so you don't have things scattered and um, unarranged in your composition so what i'm also going to do is with layer selected i'm going to change the blend mode to soft light like this and i'm going to bring down the opacity like this um somewhere around here is fine so i'm just going to turn it off for the meantime that's why i had to group them right so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring the beautiful picture of the product and i'm going to bring it inside like this drag and drop all right so i'm just going to zoom this all up out like this okay so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to my resource file to bring in this second element here so i'm just going to bring it inside here and um, position it where i have to be so i'll click flip to turn it upside down and i'm going to rotate it like this just like this okay so with this done i'm just going to go to adjustment layer and i'm going to click on hue and saturation but i'm going to clip it to the layer itself so i'm going to order all twice select layer click on colorize like this and i'm going to bump the saturation up just like this select the layer of the clothes and go to filter go to blur go to blur and apply some blur to it like this uh, to create this nice subtle effect for the clothes not too much you don't want to go overboard you click ok right so as you can see now so i'm just going to increase um just play with these settings a bit right good
okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to group these two layers the adjustment and the clothes and uh, i'm just going to rename it as clothes just one like that so i have um four layers with um things inside them respectively right so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to go back to my text to and i'm just going to type out information for this particular banner right so selecting my text to i'm just going to type these things Okay, I'm just going to move it to the side. I'm going to go to my address file and I'm going to bring in the icons that I use. Oh, okay. Let me bring in the description first. I had this typed out. So we don't spend all of the days typing um, these things like this. So I'm just going to move it in place and position this well. Just doing all of this to save time. So this video doesn't um, come out lengthy and too boring for your liking. Okay, so I think the next thing I'm going to do now is having typed, having arranged all of this, I'm going to bring in my next element, which is the icons. Yes, so I'm just going to drag and drop inside here like this and um, position it well in place. Mm, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to position it well like this also move it to the top i guess so so my iphone and description i'm going to group all of them or okay i'm just going to leave it like this i'm just going to push it down a bit then for the icons i'm going to move it up you can use your arrow keys the four arrow keys on your keyboard to do all of this moving around So the icon and um, description, I'm going to move it up a bit and I'm going to turn on the background. You can see how lovely the effect it's already creating at the background like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the next um, element, which is these two elements, um, showing some of the Part of the phone like the cameras and um, just basically the cameras right um, and I'm going to move it in place like this
okay so next thing i'm going to do is go to the rectangle and i'm just going to draw a rectangle like this right you can see that it has about i'm just going to um use my to position that well remove the background color and i'm going to make the stroke white like this make sure it's set to one pixel and this is what you have so i'm just going to move it in place here like this make it smaller in my text tool i'm just going to type outside here make sure you're not typing directly on it i'm just going to type learn more of course i'm going to bring it inside i'm going to make it bigger like this learn more So with this phone, I'm going to make it slightly bigger, like this. I'm going to move it to this side. All right, great. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to group the rectangle and the line more together, so it's in one place. Right, so I'm just gonna give this learn more. Good. So with those two icons too, I'm gonna group them. Going to G G to group them. I'm going to put phone label. You can see how I'm arranging the layers, right? This is the perfect way to work inside of Photoshop. So with the um, okay, let me leave all of this and go on with the composition itself. So I'm going to create a new layer with my foreground as the color we selected before. I'm just going to apply this and set it to screen. I'm going to change my foreground again. I'm going to move this. So this part here, I'm going to create a new layer again and I'm going to bring it down, bring the layer down here like this, make sure it's below the iPhone and apply this light effect, I'm going to do it again, apply the light effect here and uh, also apply it here too, right, make sure your layer is at this position it is right now, great. I'm gonna do that again. Um, okay, I think this is good. You can see how the light effect changes things. I'm gonna create another light effect, but this time I'm going to use a different color. So you can use mine. This time it's going to be up here. So I'm gonna. You you can see that my flow is set to 80. So I'm gonna change it to screen good you can see what i created with the light effect that i just added to it All right so i'm going to bring this lens more down so i'm going to make a snapshot of the entire layers ctrl alt shift and e to make a snapshot of the entire layers so i'm going to convert it to a smart object like this and I'm going to go to filter blow Gaussian blow to blow it all out because I want to use this to create something different you can feel free to use my value 22.2 .2. I'm going to hide this for now right so you need to pay attention to this part now so I'm going to the phone label part here now now Immediately under it, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go and select a rectangle. Rectangle, sorry, that's a line. Select a rectangle like this. Good. Rectangle is always the first one, right? So um, I'm going to draw this shape here like this. 
but then I'm going to make it have rounded corners but then before then let me just bring this down hold shift when you're doing this take this out then I'm going to make it rounded corners like this rounded corners I'm going to change the color let me use this white so I'm not doing that well double click on the thumbnail change the color like this right Ctrl T I'm going to bring this part out holding down shift like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy here I'm going to move it to the position where it is so I'm going to bring it and shift it just shift it in the layers like this like this all right so I'm going to turn it on so you see I'm going to power clip it inside of that rectangle let's continue now it's inside of the rectangle right that's the rectangle so I'm going to change the color so it's a little bit, bit obvious I'm going to reduce the blur value of the snapshot of this layer I made good change the color again right. so I'm going to double click and click on drop shadow yes I'm going to increase the opacity and click OK. You can see now this is the effect it created on it, right? So let me just change the color for the last time. The, okay, that's the value I used. So you can use the value that I used, right? Great. All right. So having done that, I'm going to go to the top layer. I'm going to select adjustment layer and I'm going to select color balance right so you need to pay attention to this part so the first one I'm going to be working on is the mid-tones I'm just going to move my red to this part and I'm going to move my yellow to this part you can copy the value I used the next one I'm going to be working on is the shadows I'm going to move my red to this part and I'm going to move my yellows to this part like this and for the highlights I'm just going to move my greens to this part like this you can see how i have created a golden effect with just the color balance and the lighting that i have right for the shadows i'm going to reduce a bit uh, something around here is good to see before and after guys you can see how amazing and how punchy this is you can sure create this yourself by following my steps if there's any parts you don't understand you can always take it back rewind and play back again all right guys thank you for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please this is the right time to subscribe so you won't miss anything i'll be dropping anytime from now without further ado i'll see you in the next video ciao